Yo, what's good, y'all? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a trash can. So I got a lot of suggestions to go through. Um, this video was suggested to me by let's see, let's see, who was it? Oh, my luck redo. Appreciate you and stuff. Pretty much make a trash can tutorial. Throw away items I need. All right. There's multiple ways you could go about it. You can have like you can have a trash can where it's like you click it and like it stores something, so pe so another person could like go and go get it the method i'm doing is i'm just gonna have where like you just trigger a proximity prompt and it'll just delete tools out of your inventory if that makes sense but yeah let's just into it <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and we'll make a little trash can so i guess the best thing to do would be to you know use a cylinder and then we would just move it up rotate it upright um about right there that looks that nah, looks good okay and then let's scale it all right that's about right there let's make it black um and then we can go ahead and duplicate this by press control d we can scale it in a little bit like scale the sides in a little uh i would suggest changing the color of it for what i'm about to do i would change it to like red just something that like you could distinctly tell the difference and then obviously you wouldn't want it at the bottom right about right there and then scale it probably a little bit you know scale it out so it's about right there then you want to select both by holding control and selecting go to model and we can say oh sorry we can click negate on this then select both and union alrighty and then we would just do uh where is it use use part color there we go and boom just like that there we go we have made ourselves a well it's more of like a trash bin since it's small but anyway still a trash can but anyway right so we would then have um i mean you could really have a click detector for this you could either use a click detector or a mouse i mean or a proximity prompt i'm gonna go to proximity prompts right first things first because i'm gonna make sure it is anchored uh, make sure it's anchored and we'll name it trash trash can into the proximity prompt and we'll call it we'll call this trash prompt right trash prompt then we'll insert we can insert the server script here and call this trash script right pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna do script the parent dot triggered colon connect function in parentheses we're going to put plr because that's the player who triggered the proximity prompt then we're coming on the outside of the parentheses and press enter let's go to the next line and then we're going to need the local character or not local character but we're going to make a variable which is of course local and character and the word character so we're going to do local character and we're going to get the player's character by doing is equal to game that workspace we're going to search the workspace to find uh whoever's name matches that of the player who triggered of course Gonna press enter twice. Then we're gonna have two for i comma v in pair loops. First one is gonna search the player. We're gonna do for i comma v. I mean not the player, the character. For i v in pairs. And then we're gonna do character get children. Right. We're gonna do if v dot class name is equal to two because obviously there are a lot of different things inside of the character, like that are children of the character. So of course we're gonna only we only want the things that are this class name is equal to two. You see, here's the thing, right? And right here, let's say you only wanted certain items to be discarded, like you wanted, like you had a game, you had like a kind of like a shooting game, something with guns, something like that, and you only wanted people to be able to like throw away like knives and stuff, but not guns. You could do if you could do if v dot name is equal to um knife or whatever it is then like yeah you would just use if statements if that's what you were going for now if you want any type of tool in your game to be disposable and stuff like we'll say destroyable i should say then you would just go with this method so what we're going to do is so if it's a tool we're going to do v.destroy which will destroy i mean v call v colon destroy sorry talking too fast but anyway um yeah then we're gonna come on the outside of the end we're gonna press enter press enter twice i just love separating everything putting space in between it but anyway we're gonna do another four iv in pairs so we're gonna do four i comma v in pairs plr dot backpack get children 
I'm just pretty much searching the backpack and the character. Now for this, all we got to say is V colon destroy. And the reason for this is because everything in a player's backpack is a tool. Like those are the only things that are in a player's backpack is, is a tool. Like nothing can be in the player's backpack unless it is a tool. So we can just do V colon destroy. And boom, you're done. We can go ahead and, uh, what's it called? We can go ahead and give ourselves uh, two tools. Let me just turn off the bare handles. We can go ahead and test this. Give ourselves two tools. We can go ahead and let's click play on this. Go ahead and test this real quick. All right, and okay, we have two tools. Um, So here's how we can test pretty much, right? Oh, I probably should change the text of the pump. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, um, okay. So pretty much it'll ch it'll search my character and my player and like the backpack. Now obviously at the moment both the tools are part of my backpack since I don't have any of them equipped. But if I equip tool number one, as you guys can see, if we head on over to my character, it is right there. So pretty much when I click E, like to interact with it, the tool will disappear from not only my character but also my backpack since it's searching both the character and backpack. So I'm gonna press E now and boom, they are gone. Look at that. They are gone. Backpack is empty. And the character does not have the tool. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make a trash can. If you if you guys want me to show you how to make a different type of trash can, just leave me a detailed explanation of how you would like it to work, and just leave it in the comments, and I'll hit that with a part two. But yeah, uh, my like reader, hope this video was helpful, and it was helpful to anyone else who uh, wanted to figure out how to do this and stuff. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Help me get to 380 subs, and I yeah, appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys.